we are most alive, we have the most energy, we are most intimate with our best selves when we're progressing towards our mighty mission. I think what's happened on the planet right now is there's been a great seduction and a great brainwashing. When we are kids, we want. We want to be astronauts. We want to do all our dreams. And we're full of curiosity and we're loving. And we're passionate, we're strong. We're not afraid to be ourselves. But as we leave the perfection of childhood, the hypnosis and the brainwashing begins. Be reasonable. So that's our nature, but our parents give us limitation based on their limited psychology. And don't sing too loudly, don't dream too big, don't be too passionate. As we've left who we truly are, we've contracted. And now it's all about staying safe in the world versus going out there and letting our brilliant, our primal genius shine. And a lot of people just have stuffed that pain of disappointment and their doubt really deep inside. And they just are addicted to distraction and escapes because they don't want to deal with their potential that they've denied. Before you can be a painter who can paint what's beyond mere memory, you, you have to inculcate that discipline skill and a lot of that is painful repetition and hard grinding work. It's the sacrifice of the present for the future. But once you manage that, then things open up and, and virtually everything you learn of value is like that. And while you're learning those rules, the probability that you have any creative freedom to speak of or any facility with the rules is very low. You're a, you're a rank beginner. And even to some degree, whatever creativity you have is going to have to be stifled while you're passing through that keyhole. But if you pass through it, then something massive opens up on the other side. You have to narrow yourself first, and then you can broaden outward. Anybody, not just Navy SEALs, but anybody that can accomplish anything that is hard. The only separator is, is that they really want to be there. There's some people that get inspired and that inspiration moves them to try to do something. But the inspiration, I watch a movie about some badasses, you're inspired. But the second you're not in this environment and you're actually doing what inspired you, that suck factor is now real. One of the real reasons we don't do the things that frighten us is because we are afraid of being judged. And so to become fearless, why not find some time every day to practice becoming fearless? Stop resisting, I encourage you, stop resisting the natural flow of epic performance. Stop resisting the natural seasons of life. but something that the more somebody goes after it, the better off I'm going to be, the more it's going to push me towards my goals. And that thing is, and if somebody has a better answer, I will take it, but the only way to build your ego that is truly anti-fragile that I have found is to be the learner, to be willing to admit when you're wrong, to look at your goal and work backwards and say, is what I'm doing actually moving me towards my goal or not? Not does it make me feel good about myself, not am I right, not am I smart, is it moving me towards my goal? And if it is, then you do it. And if it doesn't, then you don't. It is better to live courageously than cowardly. Better to live truthfully than in deceit. And you can tell that too, because that's also what you tell people that you love. And we know that you should pick up your damn responsibility and move forward. Everyone knows that. It's, it's part of our intrinsic moral nature. And that nature is there. Greatest heartbreak is being untrue to yourself. There's, there's something I believe in, which is instinct is much more powerful and wiser than intellect. And I think when all of us trust our instinct in a world that says intellect and logic is everything, find your destiny doesn't knock, it whispers. And so it wasn't 
this epiphany, you know. It was just, I think when you start to trust your instinct and trust yourself versus the world and you sort of block out the opinions of other people, the pace of synchronicity starts to open up and these doors that you're supposed to walk through start to present themselves to you. But if you want to have the passion to make something big, to make big change, it's got to be something that you believe in beyond reasonable doubt. It's got to be something you've just got to make happen. So ask yourself, do I want to know more about this than anyone else? Because you're going to have to get better at it than anyone else if you want to be excellent and deliver on the promise. That's the ethical requirement of individual being in the proper sense is to constantly note that you're not what you could be, to take responsibility for that and to commit yourself like body and soul to the attainment of that ideal. For some people, it's been asleep for a long time because they're afraid. They're afraid that I'm going to get hungry, I'm going to try, I'm going to fail. And so it's human nature to protect yourself from the fear by just lowering your expectations. But one of the things I've learned is you get what you tolerate. You get what you tolerate in yourself, you get what you tolerate in your life. And sooner or later, we sometimes hit a point where we say, not another day, not another hour, this is done. I'm not walking this way, I'm not talking this way, I'm not living this way, I'm not going to be in this relationship anymore, I'm going to change it. And when people do that, that's the beginning of a breakthrough. It's not about achieving things. It's not about getting the result. It's about how you pursue the things that you enjoy and why you're pursuing them. And so the key to life, and I'm seeing it happen in my own life, is not actually checking the boxes and getting all those things that you dream about. It's how you go about living your life as you're pursuing it. What do I have to look forward to? nothing if you've already achieved it, which is why it's so important for you to understand that the real meaning of happiness is about how you show up every day. Yes, you should have big goals. Yes, you should have big dreams. Yes, 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 and yes, you should pursue them. But don't ever think that, quote, making your dreams come true is what actually makes you happy. Because what actually makes you happy is having those big dreams and waking up every morning and doing a little something to push yourself to make it happen. It's about the pursuit.